Hey y'all, we're at Bruce Arts by Education and Grill today and it is crawfish season. Join us as we learn how to have an authentic low country boil with our friends here over at Bruce Arts. It is crawfish season. So today we're gonna walk you through how to do one, how to eat one, and everything going on in front of us. So first, let's talk about what's happening here. What do we have? Uh, we have ball crawfish with uh, corn and potatoes. Um, we just finished them up, so they are ready to eat. All right, you're gonna have to teach me. What do we do? A lot of people from out of town have never had a crawfish, so what is a crawfish? I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a really big one. Ooh, they're hot. They, they're better known as mud bugs too. Pinch it. Pinch it. Peel it. Peel it. Pinch it with your left and pull it. Okay. Oh, just like that. And so I've heard a lot of people say it's like a little lobster, a crab. How would you describe it? It's quite. It's not quite as sweet as lobster meat. Uh huh. But. It has its own taste. Okay. Without a doubt. And that's why the craze is all over. We're in crawfish season, right? Yes. So we actually have the Pensacola Crawfish Festival where they boil pounds, like thousands, thousands of, pounds. of pounds. Anywhere from 10, 15,000 pounds. Wow. And crawfish boils are meant for like big groups of friends, family, that kind of thing. So I mean, like typically when you do a crawfish boil, how many pounds are you making? Back home we do from three to five pounds per person. Mm -hmm. Over here in Pensacola, it, it drops off a little bit and it's, you know, probably one and a half to maybe three pounds. Wow. And, I mean, look uh, at that, guys. <laughs> well, what do you say we go learn how to make these things? <laughs> <laughs>